What are the best drawing apps on the iPad right now? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the best apps that you can get on your iPad for drawing. I'm a hand lettering artist and a logo designer, so I spend a lot of my time drawing and also just doing things on my iPad. And there are so many apps now for drawing that it makes it hard to decide which one is the best. So I'm gonna be rolling out a few of the different apps for drawing illustration today in the hopes that you can find one of these to be the best suited for you. A portion of this video is brought to you by Paperlike. So the first app that everyone probably knows about is Procreate, and it's no secret that this app is very powerful. I've been using Procreate for many years now, even before the Apple Pencil was a real thing, I was using a, a pencil called Adobe Ink and Sign, which was basically like the Apple Pencil, but not as good. But for the technology back then, it was amazing. Procreate allows you to do hand lettering, illustration, and create your own brushes. And people have created some amazing pieces of art out of this. And there's a huge community Community of people online teaching about how to use Procreate, how to make brushes. You can also sell brushes that you've made, share them with friends. And the whole UI of the app is super simple. I'm not gonna baby you with all the small little details of the app, but since the last video I made roughly around this topic, it now supports animation. So you can literally animate your work as well now. Procreate is always updating the app and making it more useful and easier and taking it beyond what we could ever imagine, especially with the new M1 iPad that was just announced. There's gonna be new features and they're making a massive release out of it. For a very small price, I think it's less than $10, Procreate is unreal for anyone who wants to get into lettering or into art or anything like that with the iPad iPad, iPad Air, iPad Pro. The second best drawing app I found is Vectinator. And it's no secret that I am sponsored by Vectinator in a lot of my videos, but that's because I really believe in this free app. Vectinator is a vector app where you could draw in vector. It's insane. It's the first of its kind. And not only is it on the iPhone and the iPad, it's on the Mac as well. And the great thing about it is not only is that, that it's free, but they are too constantly updating the app to make it even even easier and more intuitive for people to use. What I love about Vectinator is the pen tool is very easy to use. You use these finger shortcuts to change the handle direction, to constrain them. It's very natural even when you're using it with the Apple Pencil. So if you're someone who does a bit of design on the side or you design logos, then Vectinator is a great app for you and it's free. So no matter who you are, you can download it to your iPad or iPhone right now. You can do tons inside of Vectinator. It's not just for illustrations, illustrations. You can actually create UI design straight inside it. You can design logos like I've done in the past. I've got videos on the channel that you can check out and a lot more stuff you can just do on Vectinator and it's free. So go check it out. Before I go into the next app, I just want to thank the sponsor Paperlike. Now you see me drawing on my iPad and you probably don't know because you can't hear it, but there's this certain sound. Let me illustrate this. That sound, I don't know if you heard, is basically the Paperlike screen protector. Now the difference between Paperlike and many other screen protectors is that Paperlike is one high quality and it's matte. So when you're actually creating on your iPad, drawing on it, it feels like paper. I've been using Paperlike for years now. I literally can't use an iPad without one because it feels so weird. So if you're someone who hates drawing on glass and just wants to save their screen on the iPad as well, then go ahead and click that link down below in the description to get your paper light today. The next app is a very exciting one and it's Adobe Illustrator. Earlier this year, Adobe Illustrator released on the iPad, which has revolutionized the way that people use Adobe Illustrator. Now it's completely portable. Adobe created Adobe Illustrator basically from the ground up so it can be used on the iPad with ease. And unlike its other releases with Photoshop and Fresco, Illustrator was very good and it's got amazing features features inside it. As you can see, I can pull up any Illustrator document that I use on my desktop, on my iPad, and a lot of the documents and the work that you're seeing here is actually from me creating it within the iPad. Obviously, the iPad version does not have every feature the desktop has, but that's not a bad thing because most of the time on the iPad, you're really just using your Apple Pencil and basic features. And the great thing is it works amazingly. You can design logos, you can use the pen tool, vector writes hand lettering, draw illustrations, and the coolest feature is that it's got a shape builder 
tool in it, which is amazing for any logo designer. Illustrator on iPad has new features as well that no one else has really seen, which is the repeat tool. It's now on desktop, but it was first released on the iPad. And the way that everything works from the pen tool to the shapes to the quick action bar when you select a shape, it makes it super easy to use on the iPad. It doesn't feel like you're really changing or having to learn the app. The app is sort of centered around being a good experience for you. One of the downsides are that you basically have to have an Adobe subscription to have this or you have to pay for this. Uh, that's the only downside to it. But if you're someone who's a professional artist or a designer or just already has the full Adobe suite, then this is completely for you and you can get it. Speaking of Adobe, the next one is Adobe Fresco. I love Adobe Fresco. It's one of my favorite drawing apps on the iPad, not just because it does everything that Procreate does, but also because it has support for vector drawing too. There are three modes of drawing and painting inside of Adobe Fresco. The first is normal, so that's just non-vectored, non-live paint, just normal bog standard drawing that you can get with brushes that you can download from the Adobe website and also imports from Adobe Photoshop. This is great, it has layer systems and everything. The second mode is vector, so you can use vector brushes to create vector artwork by drawing. So it's not Illustrator, but it supports vector drawing, which a lot of people need when they're doing illustrations. And the third one is live painting, which is the genius part. Live painting is taking real painting, basically, and putting it digitally. As you can see here, the paint looks real and it acts like paint. It's very strange, it's very odd when you first use it, but the possibilities here are endless. Obviously, I'm not a fine artist and I don't use paint, I use pencils and drawing equipment, so mine doesn't look very good at all, but you can really see what you could do here. You've got oil painting and watercolor, and the watercolor works super well. The way that it all acts together and like merges, the way that you can mix paints together and the way it acts like painting is great for those who are fine artists. There are so many cool features in Adobe Fresco as well, like taking a blob of something, which I'll show in a later video, you can take like a 3D orb and create 3D lettering. You can create a brush by simply clicking on a shape that you've drawn and it will create a brush for that shape. I will show you in another video when that happens. Now there are so many different drawing apps online that I'm not gonna review them all, but these are the four best ones that you can get now. And a lot of them are cheap. One of them is free and the other one is less than $10. And the other two from Adobe, you have to have a subscription for, but it depends how serious you are about drawing and whether you're a professional or not. Either way, I'll put the links to all of these apps down in the description below. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to share it so other people can see it. Like, comment what you think is the best app for you and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed it all that is is it lets you see the next video that i upload a bit easier and you can always unsubscribe later thanks for watching see you in the next video goodbye